Hey YouTube, I wanted to chat quickly about AI sports picks, how they work, what goes into them, and how they can create a lot of insight into how a game is likely going to trend. So one, one of the things about AI is it combines millions and millions and millions of data points into a few useful numbers, boils them down, crunches them, and creates a win probability or a, a cover probably like how often a team is going to cover a spread. And so some of the numbers that can go into that are uh, things like player stats, uh, basic things like a home team versus an away team. There's a statistical uh, trend there. Weather conditions, uh, historical trends, projections of how it's anticipated players are going to perform. Uh, public money, where the public money is going on the game, as well as where the, sh where the sharps are putting their money. So if we take something like uh, football, so let's take NFL or NCAA football, if the um, you know the player stats can be numerous, this could be uh, hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of data points that boil into player stats. And on a given game, let's say that the home team you know has a 54% chance that, that came out of this node that the uh, player stats combined together to get a 54% chance that the home team's going to win. Uh, let's say that, that you know historically the home team in, in games where the spread is less than five points is going to win 53% uh, of the time. Now I'm just making these numbers up for an example. All these numbers um, in the, the Lean's AI algorithm come from hard data over years and years and years. Um, occasionally you'll have weather conditions and that can that can sway towards like a run heavy team or a pass heavy team uh, let's say that it's just there's no advantage one way or another so let's just you know call that 50 percent um, historical trends so I, I'm not going to go into detail here because some of its proprietary but there there are hundreds and hundreds if not thousands of historical trends that we crunch together to create a single number that, that says historically in this situation using all of these different variables uh, the, you know historically the home team is going to only win 49 percent of the time for, for whatever the reason is um, maybe the projections of uh, just experts or, or projections of player statistics or different things like that um, you know, maybe that boils down together and that's 55% that the home team's going to win. Maybe the public is really betting on the road team and they're, you know, there's like a 40 or, you know, 45% of the public money is on the road team, but the sharps are, you know, 51% on the home team. So a an easy way to do this is just to average all these together. Now, obviously, with the public, it gets interesting because the public is usually wrong. So I'm going to average these together, and then I'm going to do um, five minus this. So that gives us a 57% chance that the home team is going to win this game. Then from there, we can look at this that the home team win. From there we can look at the spread and we can say, you know, if, if the spread is, um, you know, two points, we can apply it to a, a normal distribution curve based on the scores of the game and maybe that gives us a 52.1% chance that the home team covers. Don't pay attention to that. 52.1% chance that the home team covers the spread. So from there, what we can do is we can use this formula called the Kelly formula, which we then break down. It's a mathematical formula given uh, payout odds and, it, and the optimal wager. And in this case, it would be probably two uh, units. These are all, let me adjust this, these are all units. So again, this video is not a recommendation as to whether or how anyone should wager. I'm just walking through the math of how AI sports picks work. So I can do this for, you know, all I can do this for baseball, I can do this for hockey, I can do this for bas basketball. Now, obviously, in, in baseball and basketball, you're not going to have uh, weather except for like maybe the Winter Classic, but you're not going to have weather in those. 
but same thing it's all of these represent categories or buckets of thousands or hundreds of thousands or millions of data points that all get combined combined together into you know a specific number of the home team covering and then obviously as we play with these these numbers change and uh, we actually combine them in a proprietary way using confidence scores as well to give us really high confidence on uh, how we think a game is going to to trend and so um, again these are all examples now in this in this scenario let's say that the, the, the spread was uh, was zero this would be equal to to this so you know now I have a 57 percent chance of covering the spread or and winning if the spread is zero or just a pickup you know and this would be close to a to seven <clears throat> seven units when we're looking at 57 percent okay one last thing I wanted to discuss is this idea in AI that we have called machine learning. Machine learning is the machine essentially learning from itself. So it's looking at decisions it made in the past and weighting them towards good or bad. And so this is done over uh, all kinds of nodes and different data points. And over time, the machine recursively gets better and improves. And this is one of the most powerful things of AI is it can make assumptions and then over time it starts to see if its own assumptions were good or bad and then it adjusts future assumptions based on the past. And so it's, it essentially gets smarter with time. It's a very, very powerful tool. And that's how the uh, algorithm we've designed at Lean's AI called Remy works is it uses recursive machine learning to only get better with time and, and season over season we've seen significant improvements so far so we, we obviously can't get to guarantee that these improvements are going to continue but we're optimistic about the the machine learning ai capabilities that remy has that's all i've got for now it's just an overview of how ai sports picks work for di for different scenarios um, very high level and uh yeah that's it have a good one